all right? All you music makers, video game players, listeners to the madness, streetlight crusaders again, since we mentioned it before, and just in case we didn't say it already, especially you telemarketers that may call in at random hours during this said broadcast, welcome to yet another episode of A Work in Progress. I am your host from the East Coast, as always, DJ Smokey, flanked by the maestro who is still wearing that beard from St. Patrick's Day. I don't know why you're still wearing it, but I think he likes it. (laughs) And yeah, the title says it all, folks. We have decided to take a little bit of a break for this Sunday, which happened to be St. Patrick's Day. And every single year, I keep getting the date confused. So, Music of Finnegan's Village is neither on St. Patrick's Day or around St. Patrick's Day. And somebody prior to this broadcast asked me, DJ Smokey, where in the world did you get that Irish accent and what are you doing? And let's just say I watched a lot of Braveheart and Mel Gibson films with him with his Irish accent and that's where I got it from. That and my mom used to do it all the time, jokingly, whenever I, uh say a right answer to something or just in general by saying there you go so I went with it and ran with it now I really wish the first year for Music Village we really started doing Musical Finnegan's Village so we could say we had it for five years but thanks to Maestro crunching the numbers we've been only doing this for about well over four years over the five year period that we've been doing this only four years Wow. Now, folks, another interesting thing that we found out and something that we were supposed to report on for Music Village, but we completely forgot, is for you Fantasy Star Online Blue Burst fans out there, they have now announced a brand new tournament to actually make up for the tournament that ended in a no contest in December. Yeah, and it's called apparently the Valentine's Day Vanilla TA Mini Event, which is basically a time attack mode, which is for the mission known as Raid on Central Tower in Episode 2. And it is you playing with a loved one or a female or male counterpart to make it through this said tower as quickly as possible while using vanilla items. And vanilla items as in just the regular items in the game, not any of the items that are special items that you would get along the lines of, well, let's just say uh, Dark Flow, the Dark Meteor, anything that involves end game equipment can't be used during this said tournament, and that goes for mags as well. And yeah, the winner of this said tournament, well, first prize will be awarded one of the three items along the lines of the Dark Flow that we mentioned from the tournament, the Dark Meteor, the Dark Bridge, and even the Sonic Team Armor. Ooh, ah! (laughs) Second place or runner-up winners would end up winning the Centurion Battle, and alongside with it for third place, they would win two Chromatic Orbs and ten New Year's cards. So even if you don't, even if you do, even if you don't get second or first place, folks, third place and second place prizes are something to behold. And not to mention some very rare items along with it. Because Centurion Paddle can only be found during the summer events, which is insane that they decided to include this as a second place prize. Now... If anybody out there is wondering, am I going to participate in this? Well, unfortunately, due to the fact that our sleep cycle was knocked off through a loop, we unfortunately were not able to participate in this said tournament. But here's a couple of the participants who will be participating in this said makeshift love connection race through this makeshift tower mode. And it's as follows. Saber 7 and Star Lord, Mud Kippus Jim, that's his name, I did not say it right, <laughs> and R78. You also have Lapellus and Jupiter the Mars, nice name by the way. 
Jade and Shin, and finally, Rocket Tots and Usagi. And for those who don't know, Usagi was actually the one who actually made it to the finals of the tournament that took place in December that led to a no contest. So that's the one I'm definitely rooting for to win this set contest overall. But then again, with using only vanilla weapons, you can only imagine how interesting this set tournament is going to get. And not to mention, the final day for signups have officially closed as of today. Yeah. And for those who are looking to submit your times in, you have until March 31st. So, the one who has the fastest time, we will be reporting for, for Under the Radar, Music Village, the Indie Radio Arcade if need be, and any other shows that we have, including the Tuesday Night Special, or even here on A Work in Progress. So, to good luck to all the people participating in this said tournament, and I'll be rooting for you guys on the sidelines once again, but the next little event they have, I will be participating in. As long as it's not anything that requires me to race through Omax Temple like something out of Legends of the Hidden Temple. Because that's how I feel this is going to go. Without the cool music from Legends of the Hidden Temple. Oh my god, I wish they made a CD for Legends of the Hidden Temple with that soundtrack in there. Or better yet, make a CD of all the game shows that took place on Nickelodeon. Put it on one big CD and deliver it to the public. Or then again, at this point, they would probably have MP3s or digital downloads. But I prefer a CD. Don't get me wrong. I really do prefer a CD to anything else. And speaking of CDs, folks, somebody actually sent me a link of something and told me this person should have been in the category for this past Indie Awards for the most interesting person of 2018. And I looked at it, and yeah, it definitely checks out. And the person was Eminem, and the reason why that is, and I think probably because of the whole kill shot diss tape thing that went on, but more or less... Because he was able to perform on the Gorilla Building, aka the Statue of Liberty, with not only lighting effects, helicopters, separate microphones, and even a couple of surprise appearances along the way. And I looked at it and I said, wow, he really should have been included. I don't know why I didn't include him, but, you know, maybe next year. So Eminem, yeah. You're definitely in the valid list for next year, along with Jimmy Kimmel, who is really trying to bring musical performances back to late night television after, well, you know, so many other late night TV talk show hosts have somehow not included it that I know of. Now, I'm not going to say everybody that I'm going to say that I know of just to clear my name of any of that. Oh, uh, man. And, folks, we do have a whole bunch of great shows prepared for you for this week. And one of the things I can reveal for one of the shows is for the Tuesday night special that will regard the, I do believe, the great moments in wrestling history that will be along the lines of, hmm, a special pay-per-view event that we have only once a year, one of the events of the matches that took place during it. It's a women's triple threat match. It somehow connects in with Charlotte, Ronda Rousey, and I do believe Becky Lynch. Yeah, it does include all three of those women. But before I go into details for that... Really, Maestro? Really? The dinner bell already? Oh, man. (laughs) Well, folks, I guess the details will be discussed for the Tuesday Night Special tonight because it's time for us to clear out of here. And I guess with that said, folks, before we head out, I would like to thank you, the independent artists out there, for delivering that musical goodness like you always do, especially you fans out there for listening in as always. And finally, last but not least, but most importantly of all, you, the independent gamers out there, for delivering all those sweet, sweet games that we had a chance to talk about, which we basically talked about Blue Bursts more than anything else. So, thanks to the people who brought that server to life, 
including one person I'm following on YouTube, but I don't remember his name. But you know who you are, and the credit is due to you. <laughs> and I guess with everybody thanked, you guys out there know how we go out. I'm DJ Smokey on behalf of the maestro over there in the corner. And the PR department give me the thumbs up without even mentioning I'm saying. When there's smoke, there's fire. And until next time, folks, this has been yet another work in progress. Happy St. Patrick's Day and enjoy the rest of your Sunday the best way you can.